We must speak about shame. They say that guilt is because of what you have done and shame is because of who you are. I've felt guilty about a lot of things I've done in the past. I feel like, oh, I could have been a better person. I should have behaved better. I've also dealt with a lot of shame, feelings of worthlessness, low self-esteem. The way out of shame for me has been to address as where possible incidents in the past where I feel my behaviour was not as it should have been, to ask for forgiveness and to be willing to forgive others for being less than perfect. You need a spiritual solution to the problem of shame. You need to believe that you are beautiful and in spite of what you have done, you are able to be forgiven. They say, those people that believe such things, that God will forgive you more quickly than you can even ask for forgiveness. As soon as you turn to God, to higher power, higher self, uh, meditative aspect of unconsciousness, then the possibility for forgiveness exists. If there are things that you have done in particular of which you are ashamed, it helps me to inventory them. I have explained in my book, Recovery, how to conduct an inventory process which is best done with a mentor, with some guidance. But the beginning to ending feelings of shame is to believe that you do not deserve to feel ashamed. You are beautiful, you have been made and you are as you are intended to be, but you may need to go on a journey of redemption, which means giving up the values you used to have and accepting that you belong to a new idea now. Shame is the shadow of ego. Shame is the shadow of wanting to be adored as an individual. That adulation leads nowhere and the shadow it casts is shame. Find yourself an identity of part of an ideology that encourages kindness and oneness. Do esteemable things and importantly, know that whatever you have done, there is nothing so bad that prevents us returning home.